Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use just a little bit of custom CSS to change the look of the variant and quantity options on a product page in Squarespace 7.1. Now, before we dig into any code, the font and the colors can be changed using your site styles menu. So if you want them to be the same, head on over to your site styles menu instead of using code, okay? But if you want to change, let's say, the size of the label versus the color of the quantity option, those are going to require just a little bit of custom CSS. Now, as always, the codes are listed in the description below, but let's hop into my demo site so I can show you exactly how they work so you'll understand what you want to change to make it look amazing in your own website. So here we are on a product page in my Squarespace 7.1 website. I've got some options here and a quantity field here, and all the codes we're using are custom CSS. So let's navigate to design and then scroll all the way down to custom CSS at the bottom. Now the first code we're going to use is to adjust this label right here. So this is actually called variant option title. Then I'll open up a curly bracket and let's change the font size. There we go. I've typed in 25 PX and you can see that that font size just got a lot bigger. We can also change the color. Let's go ahead and make it purple. I just entered the word purple. It's a web safe color name. You can also use a hex color code or an RGBA code, whatever you're comfortable with. Now after that, we can use any other typography setting you want, like making it all capital letters or even changing the letter spacing or even changing the font family to something completely different. All of that is going to be applied to the variant option title. Now what about this box underneath it? That is called the variant select wrapper. So I just replaced the text variant option title with variant select wrapper and we can see we're getting that new font, we're getting that new size, but the color didn't transfer over. Let's add exclamation point important to make sure the browser pays attention to our code and check it out, now it's purple. Pretty awesome, right? Now let's talk about the quantity box right underneath it. The title quantity is actually the quantity label. That's the code that you're going to want to use to change that. Again, adjust the font size, the color, font family, even letter spacing if you'd like to. Any typography codes, just place it after quantity label in your custom CSS. And underneath that, we have the quantity box. That's actually your quantity input. So I've changed the title there, but we've got one more line to add. We also have to say input after that. That's our way of telling the browser, I want to change the value inside that box. You can also do fun things like change up the background color or the border style. Again, that's product quantity input on the product item details page. So there you have it, a couple of quick codes to make some cool changes on your Squarespace website. Again, all of the standard typography settings like font family, font size, and color will change either the label or the option, be it the variant option or the quantity input. Just make sure you've started with the right code for your Squarespace 7.1 site listed below. I also have a couple of pre-made styles in there so you can copy and paste those and play around with them to make them look uniquely yours. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I hope you learned something awesome. And most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you like this tutorial, you'll love my CSS cheat sheet. I created a PDF for Squarespacers that's packed with pro tips, code names, and style snippets specifically for Squarespace. Get the codes you need to make your site look incredible at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.